G'day guys, M Tim Tam here, and today this is the first in many of the Octane Render tutorials. Today I'll be going through all the stuff that's going to be in the tutorials, like what I did in the uh, previous one, but a bit more interactive, I guess. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll be saying all the do's and don'ts, and uh, all the stuff you can and can't do. So. What's going to be in these series of tutorials? Well, here is the first thing um, we're going to go through is important notes. Um, what I mean by that is I'll be going through all the websites you should go to, all the stuff you um, have to get in order for Octane to work at its fullest or for it to work at all. So. We'll also be going through the interface. Um, as you can see here, there's a lot of buttons, a lot of stuff you can press. You can get lost in it if you are a noob to 3D in general. If you um, work with Blender, Maya, 3ds Max, or ZBrush, um, I'm pretty sure the interface will get easy to get used to. We'll also be going through import and navigation. What I mean by import and navigation is how do you import your OBJ files, how do you export it into uh, your PNG turntables, how do you import your Octane render file, all that hard technical stuff. Uh, the next is atmosphere and environment how your scene will be look like if you have a HDRI, if you have a Sun Sky preset, how if you have a RGB um, world and for environment as in a post production wise and your levels, your exposure, all that technical stuff. Um, render kernels, um, which render kernel you're gonna pick? Each one has its own each one has its own uniqueness to it, whether you want to do it for just navigation or if you're handing up stuff, whether it'll be indoor or outdoor. This one I can't wait to get into. I might do this one next, maybe. Basic texturing, um, pretty self-explanatory. Basic texturing, we'll even get into intermediate texturing, which I am going to write down. I didn't write make a file on it, I'll make a script soon. So basic and intermediate texturing. We'll also be going through Live Database. Live Database is a online um, material library that Octane has built in it, made by other users. It's very and extremely helpful in most cases. Exporting. Um, exporting is the same as importing, which I forgot for some reason wrote down by itself, but exporting it, like I said, as a PNG, turntables, light simulation, etc, etc. So that's all the stuff we'll be going through in Octane Render. Each one, each title will probably have about two, three videos um, um, joined, joined on it. And the in betweens will be uh, probably tips, maybe. Um, and each tutorial I'll do, I'll probably make an example scene, one that I didn't use in the tutorial, but you can use one that will be in the tutorial that you can use. So, this first tutorial is on import important notes. Now, in order to use Octane Render, you have to have a NVIDIA GPU, but it should be, that's the word, it should be a GTX series, whether it's GTX 200 series or a GTX 500 series, in between there. Um, you can use, and I have seen people use a 98000 GT, any of the GT series that's at least um, 8 8,000, that's, anything under 8,000 is a bit slow, well, is very slow. You can also use, uh, where is it, uh, Quadro and Telstra card, too. Now, the first thing you have to do is to 
update your driver to the fullest, to that most updated driver that you can get. Um, I'll post a link um, to each of these. You'll also need to download the NVIDIA Toolkit 4.0, um, whether you're 32-bit, 64-bit, up to you. And you to, and to download Octane Render, you go to if you want to test out the demo, you're more than welcome. Um, the current version is 2.46b for the demo. Um, and if you're a purchased user and you don't know how to use it, um, you go to the release candidate or the um, commercial product news and releases. I will be using the two two point four two point four eight B, which is a um, not stable, but it's a very um, top of the line release date. Anything I'll be doing in the tutorials will not be affected for using the um, the demo. The demo will not have the following. Um, it will not. There's a certain resolution that the demo can't go past. You cannot uh, save it, the project, and you can't render an output. But there are some certain ways to get past that. That's legal. Um, and the live BD settings, the live database settings, will not work. However, I'm my tutorials are open for the people who are using the demo and who are using the uh, full version and there will be no multi GPU support but as I said my, my tutorials are open for people that have full access and for the people that are using the demo um, now I'm pretty sure that's it um, you can download some test scenes if you want some benchmarks there's a manual but um, you know, you're watching my tutorials. There's also people. Um, it's also supported for Windows, obviously, Apple, and Linux. GPU, no, C, uh, 64 bits and 32 bits. And if you want to check out the gallery, if you ask questions, features, check out all of it on the website. So now that we have all of that out of the way. We should start on the next tutorial, which will be the interface. I will make that now, and hopefully you will enjoy it.